Hey, this is Ricky K on Cichlids. In this video, we're going to look at the double D peacock. And in this instance, double D means double dorsal. So look this way and check out this video. In this aquarium with the double D, there's maturing male icebreakers that could become outstanding fish. Double D is a astounding dragon blood, but the new features of the double dorsal is what set it apart. When it's mixed with this, the icebreaker females in this aquarium, I can get some astounding fish. Look at this male in the center of your screen. It's an icebreaker. Who knows what it will turn out to be. It's already looking pretty good from this early stage in its development. This particular icebreaker has some markings under the eye, which I don't know if it will remain there after it develops or not. It'll be unique to see. See how on this particular icebreaker there's a dark marking underneath the eyes. I normally do not notice this on my icebreaker peacocks. I'm wondering if it will turn blue like a normal icebreaker or it's unique to this particular fish. This double D peacock will be set up with many females and allow me to have the best chance to see if this trait of the double dorsal is genetic. If the double dorsal fin is genetic when I put the double D peacock with multiple females I will be able to have hundreds of offspring at a time hundreds of offspring and to see quickly whether this trait is genetic or not he's a stunning fish and when I do mix them with the icebreakers, there will be some that are more like him and different varieties that I cannot imagine. But hopefully some of them will have the double dorsal fin. Many of the fish that we have in the hobby today are, have been created through line breeding. They see a trait in a fish and they go down the line to see if they can strengthen that trait in their breeding techniques. Here you see the double D chewing on a brand new Anubius leaf. He just took a chunk out of it. People have said that you can grow Anubius with peacocks but if they chew off the brand new growth of the Anubius, then they do not form full leaves, they do not prosper fully. For this reason, I normally have only have my younger fry and the aquariums with plants to allow them to prosper around the fish they need not to have their leaves eaten. Viewer asked me to get a better look at the Double D Peacock. I hope I've done him justice with this video. You can see him a little bit clearer and he has developed in coloration. Even though this video is on the Double D Peacock, I wanted to end this video with a glance at the icebreaker developing male in this aquarium. What do you think will be the outcome of an icebreaker mixed with the double D. I'm excited to find out. I hope you do as well. So look around the screen. Pick another video from Ricky Kinley Cichlids. Thanks for watching.